The best path to innovation, quite frankly, is to stay close to your customers. One solution will not fit all needs, so you really have to understand how you can help your customer. Their needs can change rapidly, so if you're paying attention, you can stay on the competitive edge of innovation. In the next decade, the greatest transformation will be the digitization and personalization of information. And the ability to move that information instantly to anywhere on the planet will really transform how modern societies work, socialize, learn, and live. And because of this, healthcare is at the beginning of a long evolution. Medical treatment is probably more technologically advanced in most areas of the world today than it ever has been. Yet our use of technology to help people make better decisions about healthcare is way behind the curve. The world has already become a much smaller place for those who are plugged in. Yet for the rest of the world, technology can help close the gap between those whose lives are enhanced by technology and those whose lives may depend on technology for survival. I think some of the models that exist today in our current market need to change. We need to have payment reform. So for example, in our current healthcare system, we pay for activity, not the end result. And in the United States, we pay for each service that's rendered. The obvious result is that more services are rendered because that's how people are rewarded. In other countries where they have fixed healthcare budgets, that model wouldn't work because the more activity you would pay for, the less budget you would have to cover all the services that the population needs. So in the end, globally, we are all challenged with how to best use the resources that we have to improve the overall health of the population we serve. What we need to do is pay for healthy outcomes. And in that model, the focus is on prevention and early intervention so people can stay healthier longer, and when they do get sick, get better quicker. I think one of the ways our industry can understand its impact on the state of the world's economy is to understand our impact on global economic growth and development. Broader global economic growth and development depend on our collective ability to meet the basic health needs of people and populations all around the world. Healthcare is the number one driver of economies from the standpoint of the cost impact of both poor health status and the cost of providing health care. The real issue we face is how do we prevent the onset of chronic disease and conditions? Because we cannot afford to wait on this issue, so we are actively working with leading nations to build or improve health systems. Our goal is to make quality health care affordable, accessible, and sustainable for populations throughout the world.